From the Radar Art Show, this is episode one of the Radar Art Show. For this first episode, we will be giving you some Raider news, Raider updates, Raider dedication, Raider memes, Raider conversation, which I will be interviewing someone later on, and last but not least, Raider rants. Before I get started, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below. If you are new to the Raider Nation here, then it really means a lot. Recently, I just have received the uh, 210 views on my channel, which that is really good for me. You know, hopefully one day I might get some more views from the people. Then that 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 will I, that will make me keep continuing going. Before I get into the Raider news, I would like to do this thing that's called Raider comments. This is where the Raider fans will mic commenting on me. Uh, they commented me recently on my recent pilot video that I just released, and hopefully I'll I might re uh, read it to you guys like right now. So, my first comment is one of our friend, Raider Homer, he comments, Good show, bro. What do you think we should draft? Well, Homer, I can't give out, like, any, uh, information about it until later on in the show. Uh, I kind of noticed that you're going for Tevin Jenkins from the, uh, Oklahoma State to be, like, an offensive line for the Raiders. So, yeah, uh, Raider Nation, go check out Ray Homer's social media. He has, a uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram that he's going to be doing some Raider updates on there. And also go check out his YouTube channel. It's called Raider, Raider Homer Show, where he's going to be doing updates for the Raiders as well. Next, we have our next friend, Feisty Raider, who is from the D-Lot, Veronica. She comments, good job. Well, thank you, Veronica. I hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. You know, I hope you continue, you know, just, you know, watching me what I'm doing. But yeah, I mean, like, Veronica, I have known her for a long time, um, since 2008. Uh, I think the first, uh, first time we went over at the, uh, the Grill Iron Gang in the D-Lot, and she would come in, you know, come up to me, like, as a kid, you know, hug me, and let me, uh, let me wear her hat. But yeah, that, that was a fun memory that I had with her, and the, the last time I just saw her was at the, uh, banquet in Oakland, the Hilton uh, Hotel for the Raiders around uh, early 2020 before they started to like uh, relocate it to the uh, Las Vegas so yeah I, I kind of feel so bad for her like I mean she kind of like really loves Oakland the most um, you know she, she also has like this kind of like an eye contact lens like she you know had like the dedication from the uh, our, our other friend uh, Oaktown Pirate which um, unfortunately, he passed away around, like, October 2011, or actually, actually 2014, my mistake, like, from, like, a heart attack, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it was, it was really sad for her, uh, she recently went to the, um, the Legion Stadium last year, uh, with, uh, Rilla and, uh, some of, uh, her friends, uh, to, you know, go, uh, go see what's going on, but, yeah, I just, um, I wanted to, um, congratulate to her, like, I wish her nothing but the best, you know, hopefully we meet each other one day and just, you know, having, uh, having a great time. Our other comment is Sun Joku. He comments, awesome job, man. Very well put together. Keep grinding them out. Well, thank you, Sun Joku. I, I kind of understand recently that, um, you don't want to do this kind of a Raider content anymore, which that, that's understood. I, I, no, I kind of noticed that you're moving on to other things like the fishing and, uh, doing some like the Dragon Ball Z stuff like in real life. But, like, other ways, I mean, I wish you nothing but the best what you do over in Atlanta and Georgia just to make sure that, you know, you guys stay positive as much, you can, uh, as much as you can. And last but not least, our other friend, Raider Fan Radio, the original Raider Fan Radio by Raider Rob, he comments, love your pilot, Raider Art. Thank you for the love at Raider Fan Radio in your intro. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Raider Rob. I, I really appreciate you reaching me out to me since the early 2019 through emails. That 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 really means a lot. I'm so glad you have your show back. That that that's gonna be amazing. I subscribed to your channel and you know, Stoner Dude, Black Hole Steph, shout outs to them. I just it that that's just amazing. But yeah, I mean like Raider Rob, I mean he has been doing this for a long time since nineteen ninety five. 
uh, in Oakland when you know when the Raiders have returned to Oakland in 1995. Like he is also the original members of the Black Hole, uh, just like Steph. Uh, also the founder of the slogan "The Raider Nation," which it wasn't like Jim Hudson who created it. Like there are some rumors. Uh, maybe like a fraud, but you know, he, Raider Rob is the one who created the Raider Nation logo. Make sure you check out Raider Fan Radio on YouTube. Uh, they recently got like thousand subscribers, which congratulations to them. Uh, they got like a lot of views. I mean, they have a views from the other Raider Nation that joins into the, uh, their videos and, uh, enjoying watching their videos, which, you know, that's great. I mean, they, they have to continue what they're doing. I just, I, I, uh, support them more often. You can also check out their social media on Facebook and Instagram. For Facebook, it's, um, Raider Fan Radio. You can type in, uh, Raider Fan Radio Oakland. And on Instagram, it's at, RaiderFanRadio.Vegas, and you know, that will help you out to, you know, uh, go search for them. Okay, with all that being said, with those comments, we're finally getting get ready for the Raider news. Here we go. The Raider Art Show is sponsored by the original Raider Hip Hop tribute group from Oakland and now Las Vegas called Dean Raider Boys. Make sure you go on YouTube and type in Deem Raider Boys with a letter Z Boys with their greatest Raider music hits of the Raider Nation. Check out and follow Deem Raider Boys on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Deem Raider Boys. Make sure you check out their newest hit called RN for Life. Go on YouTube and type in Deem Raider Boys, a Las Vegas Raider tribute group. Go Raiders! Raider Nation, it's Raider Puppet coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada, home of the Las Vegas Raiders. Hey, check out Raider Art YouTube channel for the Raider Art YouTube show. Check him out for all the latest news information regarding the Raiders. Check out the Raider Art show on YouTube. The Raider Art YouTube channel. Raider Puppet, Raider Nation, ow. Hey, Denver Jackass fans, you want some of this? You sure you want some of this? Come and get it, bitches. Thank you, Raider Puppet. Man, shout out to Raider Puppet. I mean, he's he's already pumping up for this year's game at Allegiant Stadium. And he's also coming for you, Broncos fans. He's coming for you. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, shout out to David Michaels for creating uh, Raider Puppet. You can also find uh, Raider Puppet on Facebook and Instagram. Or, like, type in uh, Raider Puppet. You can find his, like, his uh, profile. Uh, that will help you out. And he also has his, uh, check out his uh, YouTube channel as well. But anyways, back to the Raider news. For this first news, the Raiders officially announced to have their own sports bar or restaurant over at M Resort Casino in Las Vegas called Raiders Tavern and Grill. The sports bar contains 3,400 feet uh, of dining space as well as two bars, Raiders memorabilia, and merchandise. The sports bar also contains 45 high definition TV as well for fans to watch. It also contains the staffs, players, coaches, legends, and so on the night before Sunday's game at Allegiant Stadium. So, my thoughts about that sports bar, that kind of looks like fancy and just brand new to me in many ways. Like, Charles Wilson was also there for cutting the ribbon for the uh, opening ceremonies as well. I mean, it doesn't even, like, contain, like, some, not all, like, you know, like the memorabilia where, like, the Raider Legends jersey on the top of the wall. But yeah, it also has like the merchandise, is, which is cool. Like you're at like inside the um, the glass. Like you go in there, you can buy your own like uh, merchandise, uh, get your own like the Raider gears in many ways. Uh, I don't know if they have like a cashier in there or probably like some of the staff, like the employees and then that uh, the bartender. You might have to, you know, I might have to find someone there to. If you're ever in Vegas, uh, you might go find someone in there. The restaurant also owns by the M Resort general manager named Hussein Mars, who takes care of that place as well to have like all the fans come in for the uh, sports bar uh, to enjoy watching the game. 
I mean, there's so many, like, other, like, sports bar that the uh, Raider fans are, uh, like, actually been starting uh, for, like, the fans to come, like, enjoying, like, having a good time. They're starting to have their own uh, business scene. And um, there's also, like, a sports bar over in San Leandro where we usually go, like, the night before Raiders home game. The place is called um, Ricky Sports Theater and Grill. But Ricky's, unfortunately, last year was been closing because of the virus that is going on. Uh, they recently create, like, a GoFundMe page to, you know, be, like, a supportive, like, other people, you know, help them out to save, like, Ricky's Sports Theater and Grill. Uh, Tina, who is uh, Ricky's wife, she has been struggling through, um, from the bills, from the sports bar, you know, the bills are going high, uh, I just feel so bad for her, like, she needs some, like, support for the, uh, GoFundMe page, you know, like, other fans, and, you know, help her out, you know, be, like, a supportive, you know, like, they're going into, you know, like, those kind of issues going on right now over in San Leandro. But, uh, you know, Ricky's, it, it's been around, like, since 1946 by, uh, Ricky's father who owns, like, the state company that creates, like, a sports theater right there in the grill. Um, that's the place where we usually go for, like, we used to, like, go to, like, the Thursday night, the Booster Club, the Raiders for, like, the raffle tickets to give away prizes to the fans. Um, that's where, you know, at the beginning of my career when I first started, like, you know, me and new friends, my mom took me there to the San Leandro just to meet, you know, Catherine uh, Senior and uh, people that i know known, for, like, for many years and so on. But, yeah, I mean, like, the Raiders Tavern and Grill, I mean, it, it's beautiful. It, it's just brand new into my eyes. So, in other news, there has been restrictive rules going on inside the Allegiant Stadium with the social distancing issues. Now, there are some Raider fans out there, you know, thinking like, you know, staff and employees, you know, they're, they're ordering them, like, you know, having them have the, you know, have their mask on or not wear mask in the Legion Stadium when, when it comes to social distancing. Now, I know it's kind of tough, you know, having like these kind of fans, you know, being in that situation, you know, have to stick with those rules and might have to wait until like, you know, next year or this year, you know, next year will be like 2022. Uh, but I'm not sure about like this year when this pandemic is over for, you know, fans to, you know, get back to their normal lives and stuff like that in real life. Also, what I don't get, you know, when it comes to Raider ads, uh, when I see them like, you know, dancing on the field, you know, cheerleading uh, with their mask on or outside of the Allegiant Stadium. To me, in my opinion, I mean, it just doesn't even feel uh, feel right. I mean, I just don't like see them smiling. Like, or they have, like, some of the window masks, if they even create that, instead of, like, you know, blocking masks, like, brief one, like, you can't, like, you can't really see them smile. I mean, it's just bad of luck, you know, fans, you know, they, they're just kind of upset, you know, like, since, uh, 2020, last year, it's just, it's not feeling right, you know, like, there are fans out there, you know, in the Legion Stadium, they're not in the stadium like it's it's full of empty like other Raider fans went to like in in the Vegas they started going to like a sports bar uh like you know simple like stage or casino uh where you know they started watching the game in Vegas instead of going to the Legion Stadium it's just that that's that's really you know ridiculous but you know hopefully this year it, it'll it will get better you know they're allowing fans you know get into the stadium and just having their tickets ready and you know you have to check in first and uh get inside there and just you know having a good time and i also not even sure like if the black hole will be existed in vegas because you know black hole for example that that's something special for the uh, raider nation and they they actually started back in 1995 when a man uh Black Hole Robert Vera, Dave Monsell, and the rest of the crew were, you know, at home, like, it was actually back in the late 1994 when they were watching the morning game, and then um, they see, like, the uh, Cleveland Dog Pound fans, you know, like, with their mask on, like, the dog mask, and uh, they they had the reaction about that that kind of stuff, and then after that, they, uh, they were thinking, like, like, there were some rumors at the time, like, if the team comes back to uh, Oakland one day... They wanted to create something, like, similar to the Dog Pound. Like, they started to, like, uh, come up with names and uh, something like, you know, they they were thinking about, like, the uh, the rat's nest, and it just unfortunately did not work out. And then, like, it, they, they keep, like, throwing names and stuff like that. And then later, it was silent. Uh, the black hole was mentioned by them. And that, that was, like, the greatest idea that, you know, they ever came up with and started the whole history for the black hole of the community of the Raider Nation. Like, it's not like that, like, similar 
like outside of Earth, like if you look at the solar system, like the history, like the black hole, you're thinking about like the like the black circle with it, but not exactly like the you know like in Oakland, the black hole was gonna be like the name for like the Raider Nation and the fans, you know, tailgating like and they started you know um, uh, finding those home like the Section One Hundred Five. Uh, where they got started, like they they become like a, a national. I mean, oh, excuse me, national home, like the birthplace of the, uh, you know, where they come from, like the Raiders, you know, in Oakland. So yeah, we might have to see. You know, the black hole will still come in again for the uh, Vegas event. You know, in this season. Um, uh, recently they started like the having the chapter over the United States for like the black hole community. Like you have the Austin, Texas chapter. You know, Raider Homer comes from. Uh, New Orleans, New Jersey, um, California, Vegas as well, um, Kansas, and so on. You know that that that's pretty amazing. Like like I said, you know there there's fans all over the United States, even internationally, um, are going to be starting like to have this kind of a chapter. Um, there is even like a Raider fans, you know, like the National Football League fans over the uh, UK as well. A shout out to Crusader Raider. Um, pretty amazing like i never like been there to, uh been there before but pretty amazing that that like we're kind of like a worldwide of the raider nation and being part of it amazing like a family thing it's like more of like a family oriented thing it's more coming together like the next generation like the original generation and stuff becomes more successful to us making more proud of being like whoever we are and being original that's the main thing about it. So yeah, that's the, that's the thoughts about it. But also, when it comes to Raider Nation, like Raider Super fans or other fans, they're not even sure they they will might get into the Legion Stadium because like recently, like the tickets were like going higher up, like like a thousand dollars. To me, in my opinion, like it was not like a hundred dollars and stuff like that. It's just costs like a lot. Like fans, I don't see how fans are gonna you know afford those tickets. Like I'm sorry, but you know. Um, and also security as well, like, you know, security is try, uh, trying to stop, like, the fans were in their costumes, like, Senior, for example, uh, he was, you know, they, they try to stop them from, you know, wearing the uh, sombrero hat, um, you know, shoulder pads, you know, they're telling him, like, you know, you can't, you can't even wear that stuff anymore, and just, that's, that's really ridiculous, like, the same thing as me, they, they wouldn't even, like, can, like, you know, have me, like, wearing my helmet and stuff like that in the stadium, that happens to me, like, in Oakland at the, the last season, like, around 2019, it's just ridiculous, like, you can't, like, I know you're trying to hide the identity thing, like, when it comes to, like, Raider fans, super fans, it can make more, like, more ridiculous, like, you try to have to think about it, it's just, you don't know what to, you know, you do, you don't know what to do, like, they're trying to move on in their lives, like, they don't want to, like, give up, I mean, that's, that's the point, you know, if they, if they give up in those stuff like that, it's, it can just, it's really heart feeling, like, more upset, like, upset for, like, what they, they go through, I mean, as they said, you know, um, football and Raiders is business, you know, it's part of business, like, it is what it is, you know, you just don't know what to, you just don't, you, you never know, that, that's the main thing, you know, it's just, it's hard. Uh, the Allegiant Stadium also contains, like, the UNLV, the Rebels, uh, for the college football team as well in the Legion Stadium, which, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not really a fan of the college football stuff. You know, I'm more fan in general, like, the NFL thing stuff, you know, for the Raiders. That, that's the, I'm just a fan of the football. You know, I wasn't a fan, like, the NBA, uh, NBA or, you know, I'm a fan of M, uh, Major League Baseball, like the Giants, but, um... You know that that that's from the Bay Area where I uh, where we come from, and uh, yeah, I mean I'm still a Raider fan like from that 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 day on. Now, when it comes to the parking lot in the Legion Stadium around it, um, I'm not even sure they're gonna have like the bathrooms like when they uh when they start to tailgate, um, you know bathrooms and stuff because like for me. I just don't even think, like, there's, like, no such thing as in the bathroom in Legion Stadium parking lot. Um, they still, they'll, they might have, like, a barbecue. You know, um, Oakland Coliseum, for, uh, for example, they have, like, more space of a parking lot. Like, they have more bathrooms and stuff, like, for males and females to, you know, get in, like, when they were drunk and stuff like that. But, um, you know, they, they barbecue there. It's kind of like, a, you know, wildfire. 
um, what they do, like, they wake up around, you know, they go inside the gate around, like, 8, eight o'clock in the morning, uh, usually, uh, wake up early, like, the early morning, you know, uh, before the sunrise, uh, that, that was, that, that was, that was a part of our routine, like, and stuff like that when it comes to, you know, going into the, uh, Oakland Coliseum, like, you know, going in there, uh, through the gates and, you know, just tailgating, uh, regularly, so I'm not sure about the Allegiant Stadium for the fans, you know, it's, it's gonna be, like, different, for me, in my opinion, it, it's gonna be different for the fans, uh, find that, you know, there's, it, I don't, I don't think there's no, like, gate there, uh, there's, like, more, there's, and there's a little bit, it's kind of a little bit like a space, you know, for like the tailgate stuff, you know, regularly, um, you know, there's like new staffs there and just, um, it, it, it almost kind of, it's still going to be like, it's more similar, like a comic con thing, like for me, um, to, you know, have a good time and just, you know, be around in that Allegiant Stadium for the parking lot and just having some, uh, having some fun, uh, music and stuff like that in general. So in other news, we have the official schedule for the Raiders of the 2021 season that was released. And for this one, the preseason game, we're going to be playing against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle, Washington for the away game. But unfortunately, uh, there's no any update schedule for that preseason game, uh, especially when it comes to you know playing against the Seattle Seahawks for uh, this year. But what I do know on September 13th, we're about to be playing against the Baltimore Ravens at our home game in the Legion Stadium in Las Vegas. So we're really, uh, really excited for that kind of event, especially the other uh, regular uh, regular season in general, uh, to see what you know what's going on. It, it's legit. You know, it's going to be amazing that that the season just came out, um, schedule have came out as well, and we're you know we're ready uh, we're ready for the. Uh, those kind of events. So, for one, there's like a bye week in that schedule as well. And uh, the very last game we're going to be playing on January 9th is playing against the LA Chargers in Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas for the uh, home game. So, we're, you know, that that's going to be in there as well. So, with that being said with the schedule, now I'm going to be wrapping this up with the, um, the last news is called, uh, for this question for myself is, which Raider offense or defense should I go for? Hmm. You know, for me, it depends. You know, I, I it, like if I go for the defense, it would be more easier to, you know, uh, pressure or, you know, opposing the uh, offense, the uh, other team offense, you know, back. And it's just more easier just like tackle more. We need, uh, you know, we need like a tackler or the lineman tackler to, you know, stop the quarterback, uh, you know, take that ball off of his hand or anything, the stuff like that can make more easier to be pressure for the uh, quarterbacks. All right, with all that being said with those, we're now moving forward to Raider updates. For this update, we're going to be having some of the reviews of the NFL draft that we have picked from the new players of this year. For the first round, we have picked it the offensive tackle who was all the way from Alabama named Alex Leatherwood. Leatherwood was born and raised in Pensacola, Florida on January 5, 1999 and attended to Burger T High School, Washington High School. He was rated four stars and top 10 to recruit to be playing, allowing him to play for the University of Alabama in his junior year. He had end roll semester in Alabama, and in the early years, he had played for the seven games as a freshman over in the uh, college or high school. He has been named the All-SEC for the coaches and the other team media that would approach him as the All-American Coach Association. Although uh, Leatherwood was considering to enter the 2020 NFL Draft, but he had announced that he was considered to return to Alabama in college for the senior seasons in the finals. He has been selected for the uh, awards like the Outland Trophy for the best interior lineman. In 2021, Leatherwood was selected by our Raiders for the 2021 NFL Draft in 17 pick overall, and he has been signed four-year contract in Vegas. So my thoughts about Alex Leatherwood, um... To me, I mean, he's kind of a okay being as the offensive tackler that we have picked uh, for the offensive line. I mean, he could be more pressure and, you know, posing the defensive tackler and not get into the quarterback like, you know, Derek Carr and stuff like that, you know, to me, in my opinion. Next, for the second round pick, 
We have been selected a free safety player who is all the way from Spring Branch, Texas, is named Trayvon Morin. Trayvon was played at the uh, attending to the Smithson Valley High School, where he has been played as the cornerback for the Rangers in addition to running track, and later he had been attending to Texas Christian University in Fort Worth, Texas. He was well known as the team's MVP, and he became a full-time starter in the sophomore year in 2019, and that he had obviously have been finished the um, the season with the uh, four interceptions of 62 tackles in the final season. So my thoughts about him, um, he is a great uh, free safety. I mean, he he basically have stopped the um, offensive for the uh, you know like uh, running back or wide receivers uh, taking their balls out of their hands or you know tackled them in any like the yard line you know almost close to the end zone. So. He might be a great position for the uh, Raiders. You know, I, I would go for him, Trayvon. Uh, we'll have to see, like, for this season what he's going to start for the Raiders. You know, uh, taking down the uh, defensive... Uh, well, I'm not sure about it. Like, I mean, he's a defensive player. Uh, you know, uh, he'll he'll might, like, stop the offensive, you know, for the... Uh, any players, like the wide receiver or um, running backs. So that, 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 that would be great. Well, there are so many information about other NFL draft players that we have been picked for our Raiders. So probably this season, uh, I might be getting into more like more detail or information about them, like what their positions are and whether the best they are. If not, you know, like some of the current players are. It, it's you know, it's kind of hard. You know, like from the past, it might be great, and maybe for this year, uh, this season will might be better for more often. You know, besides the pandemic that is going on. So yeah, uh, Homer, uh, you mentioned to me about Tevin Jenkins that we picked for this year NFL draft, but unfortunately it didn't happen. I know we go for Alex Leatherwood. Um, hopefully this uh, next year we might pick something brand new to our eyes. Uh, you know, pick the uh, be- I mean, pick the best player we can uh, for our Raiders. So with all that being said, with the updates of the NFL draft, um. This episode, I would like to give a dedication, well, my first dedication, Raider dedication, uh, for one of our friend who was all the way from San Leandro that had a sports bar, which eventually had been closed permanently for this year, um, you know, with the GoFundMe page, like I said and mentioned before, but um, the man who owns the bar and founded is Ricky Ricardo, not the Ricky Ricardo from I Love Lucy, but Ricky Ricardo Jr. from Ricky Sports Theater and Grill have been passed away last year, uh, eventually, you know. He eventually have run the place since 1946 uh, by his father, which later he uh, passed it down to his son to, you know, take over the, the sports bar. And um, when the Raiders returned to, you know, 1995, uh, his restaurant became so big, and he welcomes like fans, like the Raider Nation, inside the doors of the restaurant, and also yeah, becoming the memorabilia of history of the Raiders uh, in Oakland. Ricky apparently has been diagnosed with dementia for four years, and um, uh, the sports bar, like I said, has been you know it's not even going well. You know, for last year, since last year, they were putting up the GoFundMe page. Um, you know, for Ricky, you know he's not the same Ricky that I know. Because the last time I've been seeing him was, you know, past January 2020, uh, last year, which, you know, he was in the back room in the sports bar. And, you know, he was just, he was, he was, he was calm. You know, he was just sitting down. You know, I went up to the back room and say hello, uh, one more time. You know, that, that was the last time I've been seeing him. You know, he, he was like doing well. You know, I told him, like, I went to the, uh, Al Davis house for the first time in Oakland Hills. And, uh, he was like, yeah, yeah, that's good that's good, you know, and, you know, stuff like that, and, uh, you know, he was well, he was well, you know, fine, like, before he passed, and uh, I was, you know, hanging out with other friends in the banquet uh, room, um, you know, one of our friends, uh, other friend who passed away uh, with the disease, uh, we, they were having a funeral over in Oakland, you know, that we had some, uh, a lot of times in the Bay Area, so, yeah, that's, that's the great memories of the Ricky Sports Theater and Grill, uh, especially Ricky, you know, he, you know, he helped us more, often for, like, the Booster Club, you know, like, Ricky's is a place where, you know, every Thursday night, we went to the Oakland Booster Club, Oakland Raiders Booster Club, but we give out the raffle tickets for the, you know, other, uh, other people to give away prices and stuff, like, you know, that was, that was, that was one of our routine and, you know, loving memories that we went over there, like, 
um, since my beginning of my career that, that, you know, my mother, uh, my mom takes, uh, take us to like the first restaurant of the Ricky sports theater and grill that was so popular in the Oakland days for the Raiders. So, you know, my condolences goes out to uh, Tina and the Ricardo family. I'm so sad, you know, you know, we lost one of our friends that we have for the Raider nation. And it's just, uh, my co- uh, condolences goes to you and, uh, we'll hopefully make it better for the other sports bar in, um, uh, Las Vegas to see how Raider fans are going to be taking over, uh, especially Raider Rob, because he's going to about to start opening up his business called the Raider Rob Vegas street grill that will be starting, uh, this summer. So can't wait for that. I mean, there's other sports, uh, sports bar to be, uh, getting into. So yeah, so sorry for the loss, you know, rest in peace to, uh, Ricky Ricardo. Anyways, we're now moving forward to this segment right here uh, called Raider Memes. Now, this is where um, Raider Nation or Raider fans, you know, go into those memes. Like, they screenshot some of, the, like, the uh, photos, like, from the movies, TV shows, and stuff like that. And the screenshot of it, you know, putting words in it. Uh, and then, like, put it on the internet that the people can see. More, like, accessory, like, it's, like, more offensive or jokes and stuff. But it doesn't matter. You know, we're, we're going to be looking into those kind of a stuff. So let's see how it's going to be happening. So the first meme that I'm looking at is the, this one, it says, Raiders win, Cowgirls, and Niner lose. Uh, today was a good day. Okay, this is interesting. This is a, a screenshot of Ice Cube from the music video Today is a Good Day, or I'm not sure what the title is, but yeah, this is interesting. Our next meme right here, it says right here is, um, oh, you're a proud member of the Raider Nation. Can you please help me with an ease about the third world? Mm, I'm not sure about this meme. I mean, this is a screenshot of the late Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka from the movie uh, Willy Wonka and the Choc- uh, Chocolate Factory. Uh, you know, the scene where, like, they went to the everlasting uh, gobstopper in the factory. You know, they talk about it, but, yeah, I, I'm not sure about this meme. I mean, it's just uh, something different, like, more questionable to, like, people, like, to know if you're, like, a truly, like, a Raider Nation, part of the Raider Nation. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure about that. This meme right here, um, it has, like, four pictures of this character, Homer, from The Simpsons. Uh, these words right there saying... Oakland, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Mars. What? Mars is a planet, not the Earth. I mean, we got like you know, we got like um, three seasons. I mean, three towns, but not not like not like Mars. I mean, it's part of the solar system, but you know, uh, like these three towns. I know we go for like Oakland, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas, but th- this I. I don't understand about this. I bet I bet Homer would see this, and or like the Simpsons family would see this like more permanently. But it's it doesn't even count that way. So our final meme right here. This one is interesting. It says, "Not today, haters." Okay, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. They put the Photoshop of Derek Carr's head like when some uh, someone's person in the suit, you know, with the wine holding. I. I, I just don't get it. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make any sense. I, I bet Carl would be pissed off about this. And when he sees this on the internet, I mean, it's just, I, that it's like for the celebration, you know, for the haters to go away for our Raiders, like the NFL team. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really not that interesting. I mean, I'm, it's more like hilarious. You know, when you see these pictures like that, it's just, wow. I, <laughs> I, I cannot believe, you know, like, they put Derek Carr's head on the Photoshop, you know, especially the meme. I mean, it's, that, that's really interesting. So, th- with that being settled with the memes, now, this is going to be an interesting segment right here for the Raider Nation out there. This one is called Raider Conversation. Now, this is where I'm going to be interviewing some of the Raider fans or my friends that I've known for many years and 14 years in Oakland Coliseum, but uh, this is interesting. The, this man right here... He has been repping the Raiders since 1991 in L.A. days, and he has been in the Hall of Fame in 2000, in the year 2000. Uh, He recently got uh, nominated and getting inducted by Howie Long for the uh, 2021 Pro Football Hall of Fans. And this man right here, our friend Wayne Mabry, also known as The Violator. I am so grateful to have him on my show for the very first time here on the Radar Arts Show. 
And, you know, it's just amazing. I get to, you know, talk to people uh, first before others. You know, I might get into in the next episode. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get in the call with the violator, Wayne Mabry, shall we? Hello, Raider Nation. My very first guest is one of the best known for the uh, Raider superfan who has been repping the Raiders since 1991. He recently got inducted for the Pro Football Hall of Fans by Howie Long in 2021. My guest is Wayne Mabry, also known as The Violator. Welcome to my show, Wayne. Hello, Art. Thanks for having me on. And uh, like I say, kudos for your show. And I would hope that you would keep Inspiring Generation Next. I love what you're doing. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I mean, this my show is all, all about the Raider Nation. You know that? Well, I know now. I didn't know before, but I know now. So you you got the right person on, and uh, we can talk shop. All right. So my question for you, Wayne, is that I know like a lot of history that you made the Raider Nation become more loud and success to the team and the posting to the other team that you have to fire it back. So my so the question is, what is your origins of the Raider Nation? Like, how did you have became a Raider fan? Well, it goes way back to 1970. Uh, I was a young kid in uh, middle school. The Raiders were playing the Chiefs, and I just happened to get a close-up view of that shield on the side of the helmet. And upon seeing the two swords and a one-eyed pirate, I fell in love and made it my mission as a youngster to get to wherever that team was. Later, I found out they were from California, so it was West Coast or bust for me. Awesome. Like, have you ever got a chance to meet, like, Al Davis for the first time in L.A. or in Oakland? I did get to meet uh, the Don, I call him, Mr. Davis. Um, It was in the L.A. days, and uh, him and Jim Otto were coming up the stairs, going to their luxury box, and one of the urchers just told me to stay by. Didn't really know why, but he just told me to stand by. So when he came up, Jim was in front, of course, So Jim was so wide, you couldn't see Mr. Davis. So Jim and I started talking, and Jim was giving me compliments on my crude-looking costume, but he liked what it it stood for. And uh, Mr. Davis was like wondering why he wasn't walking, continued to walk it, so he peeped from around uh, Jim Otto and uh, just kind of gave me a look like, who the heck are you talking to? So that was my first meeting with Mr. Davis. Awesome. I mean, I wish I could have been, like, back then as a kid, I wish I could have, like, met Mr. Davis for the first time. I mean, I've seen him walking by the Oakland Coliseum for, like, you know, the speech that he gives to, like, all the Raider fans before going into the stadium and just watch the Raider game. Absolutely. And then, look, if that don't get you goosebumps on, you're in the wrong arena. I get that. All right, so uh, who are your favorite players of the Legends? Well... As far as the legends go, as far as any of the players go, I I hate to just single out one single player. And here's my reason. I look at them as a band of brothers, and it's a team sport. So if you've got that silver and black on, you're one of my favorites. The silver and black. All right. And uh, what are your reactions about the AFC Championship and the Super Bowl back in 2003 that you were attending to? Oh, well, look, listen, uh, that was like a fan's dream come true. Uh, I didn't, hadn't purchased tickets previously for the game, but I got a phone call from the front office instructing me to get a flight, get up to Oakland and go to wheel call. There were two tickets waiting on me. So I had to get dressed as fast as I ever have. And then uh, the only airport that had a flight available that I could get there in time for the game was out of John Wayne Airport in Irvine, California. Now, I had never flown out of there fully dressed, so when I walked up in there, the place went silent. And uh, there were some elderly women in front of me in line, and they, you know, of course, was like, who is this standing behind us? And uh, when security took me out to go get, uh, go through security check, 
that caused a panic down in the uh, where the people were waiting at the, the ticket counter. And uh, I could hear him talking to whoever it was at behind the desk over his uh, shoulder phone that if that person dressed like that was on their flight, they weren't getting on that flight. So they, they, I went through security check, and they stood me in the back of the plane behind the partition where the attendants fix all the food and the drinks. So I had to stand back there until everybody got on the plane, and then I, they have a seat that they saved for me. So, of course, uh, my wife and I got to Oakland Airport, and we took BART, which was the quickest way to get to the stadium, I thought. Uh run across the bridge there from bar to the stadium, go to wheel call, grab the tickets, got in time, inside just in time for the national anthem. And I felt like I was such, I had so much adrenaline going that, you know, instead of standing in attention, I just ran down to my seats. And uh, it was a great game, man. And I just remember having words with one of the Tennessee Titans defensive backs. And uh, at the end of the game, he surprised me with a Gatorade shower. So that was a highlight for me. And then security right there, you, you sit there so you know what it's like. They says, listen, that young man's mad because his team's going fishing and your team's going to the Super Bowl. So that would always be one of my highlight games. Well, that's amazing. It's just like going to this as a fishing. I mean, it's not really like a fishing. I mean, it's like, you know, just, you know, going to the Comic Con of the Raiders, you know, fans seen dressed up, you know, like in their costumes every Sunday. It's just amazing. I mean, it's just really been fun. I just call it, I just call it the movement. Uh, art. Uh, when I first started, I had no idea that this thing would grow as big as it is. But, you know, it makes me proud to see that because that's, we can influence so many other fans who may want to express themselves. And that's all it's about. It's nothing about uh, being violent. You know, uh, I'm a big advocate of uh, fans against violence. So it's out there. We like fellowship. And you grew up, you actually grew up amongst us. So you know what we're about. It's about fellowship and making friends and sending good memories back. You know, that's what the whole thing is about. Yeah, I mean, I have been truly been grateful just to see everybody, you know, for years since 2005, you know, being friends with Gorilla Rilla, a senior, Skull Lady, a Fudu Man, and everybody. I mean, it's just a wonderful thing for me. I made great memories. Uh, you know, I haven't been counting, just like you said, like, you know, counting games, but, like, I count, like, all the pictures and stuff, you know, put it on social media. I mean, it's just been great. I mean, it can uh, continues for me, you know, keep my fandom alive, you know that? Absolutely. And like I always tell you, when we communicate, I, I'm so proud of what you, you know, what, what you become from where you started. And you were just like bright eyed, like, wow, I'm actually here. And you used to come down there. We would just let you stand any way you wanted down there amongst us because we weren't using the seats anyway. And you took on the same tradition of just standing, you know. Well, yeah, like, but for sometimes, like, you know, I related to you, like, you know, people are like, some people, like, not all, like, some, but, like, people are, like, telling me, like, sit down, because we can't even see the game, it's just, I just, I, I feel uncomfortable, you know, being in that situation, I mean, I just wanted to, like, stand and just cheer, like, for the team, like, you know, repping the other teams, like I said, you know, just, like, everybody, you know that? Yeah, you were feeding off that energy that we had down there, and like I say, those people that were complaining about not being able to see... We always told them, you need to buy your seats higher up because we don't sit down down here. All right. Uh, what was part of your reactions about being inducted by Howie Long for the Fort Hall of Fans? Man, uh, I, you know, to be honest, my knees buckle when I got the knock at the door. Now, here's the situation with that knock. I was doing an interview with Fox Sports at the time. This was all part of the setup, but I had no knowledge whatsoever. Uh, we're in the middle of the interview, and there was a loud knock at my front door. And I'm back towards the back of my house, so I had to walk all the way to the front. So I'm kind of upset, actually, that I, what I thought was one of my neighbors coming over to see why all the uh, media trucks were in front of my house. So I'm kind of upset, so I started to ignore the knock. The, the director of the... The interview said, oh, just go and answer. We'll start, you know, we'll start back when you come back and sit down. So I'm kind of going to my front door, and I don't see anything. I got stained glass in the front, 
So I didn't see anything out there. So I go to the front and I kind of open the door up. And when I open the door up, Howie Long does a pivot and just <laughs> comes around. And I'm just like, look, I see the gold jacket and his mug. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. So I knew in the back of my mind that that was all part of the gig. And uh, you talk about uh, a kid at Christmas. It's like my gift, my present was already unwrapped. So, you know, he kind of came through the house. You know, we sit and talk at different spots. We played, um, we played cornhole. And all those years of stuff in the yard in Oakland, I had never played that game. I watched other people play it. So he and I got to play cornhole. And I'm saying we can't, we ended up in a tie. But uh, he said after the uh, pandemic was over, I was going to be his special guest in the studios. So I can't wait for that either. Yeah, I mean, we can't wait. And we can't wait to have you, like, a uh, blue jacket that you're going to get, right? Absolutely, Art. That blue jacket and hopefully that uh, Hall of Fame ring, man. Plus, an exhibit that's going to stay there forever in the hall. Yeah. So, um, why do you decide to sell? I mean, uh, besides, like, like, your merchandise. So, why do you decide to sell your own V57 cigar? Well... Here's the, here's the deal with that. For those cigar aficionados, male and female, that's just a way of me reaching out to them with a brand of my own and just sharing what I enjoy myself when I'm relaxing at home. Oh, okay. Sounds cool. I mean, well, for me, I don't smoke, but it, it like it, it looks kind of cool, you know, just selling those cigars to people, like enjoying their days, you know, when they're tailgating and stuff like that. I mean, that's great. Yeah, and that's part of my ritual when we tailgate. It's always got to have one before the game and hopefully a victory cigar after the game. All right. Uh, what is your relationship with Ricky Ricardo from Ricky Sports Theater and Grill? Oh, Rick, man. Oh, God. You talk about a good dude. I've yeah. known Rick for, well, since, since 1994 when the team first moved back, or 95. I heard, I'd heard about Ricky's. So, upon coming to Oakland, I started going over there before the games, and uh, he was just a first-class guy. He welcomed me with open arms, and, uh, you know, he had a couple of photos of me in there. But uh, that was a place to meet up for all the fans coming in from out of town. Ricky's was a spot. And uh, I just watched that crowd grow to a point where we couldn't even hold everybody inside. So, we partied outside. So... That, those are some of my fondest memories uh, over there at Ricky's, man. And that's, that's like I say, with his passing away, God bless his soul, that is another end of that era in Oakland. Yeah, I mean, rest in peace to Ricky. I mean, I'm, I'm going to miss him a lot. I'm just, I'm going to miss him. So, um, what is your reactions about Vegas move and seeing a new stadium called Allegiant Stadium? Well, to be honest with you, Art, we had heard rumors back and forth there in Oakland for a few years, and at a certain point, you just stop even listening. But when that final year came around, and it was so, quote-unquote, put in concrete, uh, it was like getting hit in the gut to me. I uh, didn't like the idea at all of them leaving the state of California. I hated it because... That's what drew me to California, was that shield. So for another state to get it, I, to be honest, I was jealous. And uh, it took me a while to kind of separate my fandom from the business of the NFL. And, you know, I just come slowly come around. It, it still feels weird saying it, but to see that stadium, and I watched it from when they broke ground to the completion and, I, you know, because I'm an old construction guy myself. So if I had not been retired, I probably would have been on that project at some point. But just to see that, there would be never be another stadium looking like that one. And I'm saying Al must be smiling from heaven because that was his dream the whole time, having his own facility to call home. And... Uh, I'm so proud of that myself. I can't wait to go up on uh, draft weekend. I'll go by and possibly do the tour and check the headquarters out and all that stuff and just 
and wait until September when it's for real, when the game starts and the fans can get back in the arena. All right, can't wait for that. Uh, 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 one question. Um, are you planning about getting a legacy brick for yourself? You know what? I would love to have one, Art. Uh, you know, the situation I'm in right now, I just can't afford to do it. But if there's ever an opportunity that arises, I plan on getting one. Well, hopefully someone will help you out for that. I mean, we can create like a GoFundMe or something. like collaborating with 4Dub on your hit song, Violator? Wow. You talk about, uh, I had goosebumps the whole time we were recording that whole thing and actually doing the video. And, uh, Shalif Perkins had, had uh, kind of clued me in that he was writing a song for me, but I'm thinking, okay, alright. So when he sent it to me, sent me the track, I'm just like, I can't believe this, a theme song? So, Kind of growing up with those guys over the years, man, I just admire what they do. Uh, you know, I look at it as we have a fan base and we have our own groups of what I call poets. That's what I call them. You know, they're poets because their message is in their songs if you listen. Yeah, kind of like a, you know, a hip-hop vibe from like a West Coast hip-hop or even at the hip-hop in Oakland, you know that? Absolutely, absolutely. But like I say, everywhere they go, man, people love them. All right. Um, for the uh, the merchandise of yours, um, what is Motorsports mean to you when it comes to merchandise? Motorsports is my baby art that goes all the way back to my competitive bodybuilding days. And I always wanted to have my own line of gear. Uh, kind of like a superhero. Have my own line of gear. And, you know, being an artist, I just decided to start my own company. And... You know, I, like I say, it's, it's kind of still growing, but I'm just trying to uh, get the word out to everybody who will support or anybody that's into athletics. That's the place to go. Moto-sports.com. Yeah, it makes me want to, like, exercise or work out every day, right? Absolutely. I use them on a daily basis myself. Awesome. Just, I don't know. Um, what is the story behind your book? called The Walk, Footsteps on My Journey. I mean, Footsteps on My Journey. Ah, thanks for asking. Uh, that was just a accumulation in a condensed version of my years from growing up in Mississippi as a kid to following that dream of coming to California, all of the changes and growing that I went through over the years, you know, actually setting foot at the L.A. Coliseum for my first Raider game, and everything that transpired afterwards, from me starting to dress up to the people that I met because of me dressing up. And, and just, I wanted the book to be inspirational to anybody who had ever had dreams or somebody told them, you can't do this, you shouldn't do that. Follow those dreams and dream big. Yeah, footsteps, this is real. I mean, like every Raider fans has to be, you know, taking those steps in order to, you know, be a success and, you know, buying your way in. It, I, I look at it all as a process, and if you don't, you if you don't enjoy the process, you won't even enjoy the destination once you reach. I get the point. I understand. Now, like for the today, like, do you have any advice to the younger generation of the Raider Nation or others, one yet still to come? Here's my best advice, and I hope I can state this where it's understandable. I have a phrase in my heart, we are united under that shield. So once you pick those colors as yours, stay with them. There is no back and forth on and off the ship. It's hard enough to get the ship going. We need a full head of steam, everybody rowing to help us reach the 
that promised land. We need that Lombardi trophy. Awesome, awesome. Well, Wayne, I wanted to thank you for coming on my first show, you know, like the very first interview. Uh, before I let you go, is there any, like, uh, promoting your uh, motorsports or the Walk Footsteps of My Journey book or, like, any social media that you're on? Well, you can grab my book. It's very easy. Go to Amazon or Barnes & Nobles or DorranceBookstore.com and get the book. If you want it personally autographed, Send me a direct message, and I will give you the link for that. All right. Um, now, would you like to give me a Go Raiders sound? Go Raiders! All right. Thank you, Wayne, for coming on to my show. My pleasure, brother. God bless. All right. You too. Have a good one. Take care, all right? Goodbye. Bye. The Raider R Show is sponsored by... Harrow Artist. Log on to HaroldGeorge.com. Harrow Artist features notable of the amazing comments, drawing videos, covers, and more. Make sure you subscribe to Harold's YouTube channel called The Harrow Network, where you will get drawing video updates from Harold himself. Check out Harold's social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. At Harrow Artist, of course. Log on to HaroldGeorge.com. All right, Raider Nation, that was Wayne Mabry the Violator. Uh, make sure you check out his book, The Walk, Footsteps of My Journey, on uh, any website, you know, like shop online. I'll put a link down below. You can also contact him on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, three social media that you can contact and you can uh, purchase a book from him and get an autograph from him and uh, yeah I mean it's an amazing book you know you have to follow the steps like he said you know follow those dreams and dream big and that's that's the really motivated thing that you know all the Raider fans should do uh, before doing something that, like creative ideas uh, with their costumes and stuff in general like you go out to the Allegiant Stadium just you know having a good time you know taking pictures with the kids and that that that's an amazing thing. So now I'm going to be started wrapping this up in this episode right here in the segment is called Raider Rants. Now this is interesting. I was wanting to mention a player that was a former safety player for the Raiders around the 2000 days um, or like in the mid 2000s. His name is uh, Jared Cooper. What I thought about him, um, Jared was playing for the Raiders as a safety from 2004 to 2007, but before that, he was got drafted by the Carolina Panthers from 2001 to 2004. Um, you know, in the, uh, later in the late 2000s, he had been having some issues with the head injuries, and he has been, you know, took into, like, the drug test in the recent years, uh, you know, not being able to perform in the field. Uh, you know, he had been, like, talking to, like, some of the coaches, like, from the early 2008, and, you know, saying that, you know, he wasn't feeling well. I mean, he, he never had, like, you know, like, injury issues in his recent years of his playing or, like, any issues with other things. But, you know, like, one of the coaches told him, saying that, you know, if you can do it, then don't do it. You know, go on the field. You know, that, that, that causes the problem for him. And, you know, like, in many ways, it's just pretty hard like in those memories like the throwbacks that he went through on the field you know his number is n uh, number 40 uh was you know kind of a surprising you know how he got retired from uh 2008 uh in those times you know like announcing like the fans everybody you know he was you know not going to be playing anymore Jarrett is also known as the you know helping out the uh animals like the pets over at the uh, Oakland uh, Pet Shelter, the uh, animal shelter, around 2008, he started a nonprofit organization. Uh, back then, it was called Code 597, which you know Raider fans and us, our friends, you know, attending there, you know, help him out with these charity events. Back then, it was fun. You know, it was fun. Like back then, it was like it has Raiderhead in it. Uh, like some of the other, like other people as well, our friends, you know, Shieldhead, Rilla, and um, you know, just us. You know, we just wanted to support him like Jared Cooper back uh you know like he what he does for like the uh pets 
the dogs and cat things is just amazing. Like, he takes care of a lot of these pets, like, for many years. Um, you know, in recent years, like, we haven't been heard since then. Uh, after his retirement, I, I'm not sure what happened to him. Like, he's still living, the, like, in the Bay Area. Or, you know, he might have been disappeared. You know, we, we, we try to, like, reach out for him in many years. Uh, it's pretty, you know, hard for him. You know, like, like I said, it's just, it's really hard. Um, you know, he has to go through this way. Uh, in many ways, but, um, you know, I, you know, I bet what, like, what he heard, like, you know, he would feel bad, like, if he heard, like, the Raiders were moving to Las Vegas, that, you know, he would feel sad about it, you know, like, I don't know what to say about it, but, you know, you know, Jericho will also, you know, he should be going to the, uh, NFL Hall of Fame, uh, around the future, like, if there may be, or we can see, like, if, if he's, you know, we, we might pick him to, you know, get into the, uh, NFL Hall of Fame. Uh, that would be interesting, you know, we, su we might support him, like, uh, one day if we can, you know, we might see him again, you know, like, we, we haven't even seen him for a long time, I mean, it's just, you know, like, um, yeah, it's kind of hard, you know, I just wish him nothing but the best, you know, what he does, like, for pets, animals, like, in the hospital, he tries to help out pets, uh, generally, you know, he, you know, he's like a Raider legend to us, you know, like, the safety, a former safety position, the players of the Raiders is amazing, like, um, those were good times for him. All right, everybody. Well, it's time for me to get out of here. But before I go, uh, make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe below if you're new, Raider Nation. Uh, I'm going to be having some more updates pretty soon, like when the uh, season starts. Uh, we can't wait for, like, the uh, Seattle Seahawks that we're going to be playing for the preseason. Uh, before I go, I do have a social media. You can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and my new one, uh, Instagram I'm in. Uh, for Facebook, it's at Raider Art Productions. Uh, you can find me or ta uh, um, search me or like type in if you can. Uh, if you can, I have a profile picture of, like me with the logo. I mean, no, like the shield with my name on it. Uh, on Twitter, it's at radar21. That will be easier for you to find it. And on Instagram, it's at radar uh, with the dash space 21. Uh, that's the last part I can I can give you all. Uh, no need a question to answer. You can comment below what your thoughts about this episode. So, uh, like I said, more updates. So it's going to be a lot of work for me, and it, it it will it will worth it. You know, like working hard for me myself. I can I can try to prove it and making sure you know normally like like I'm being a human being Raider fan to me. Uh, yeah. So no comments for you know like no thoughts about it but anyways you know it's gonna get nighttime so uh hope you guys enjoy this video uh thank you so much raider nation uh been always been a pleasure um stay safe and have a good one